Alright, we're just... Welcome back to Wind Waker, right? In the last... Well, last... Terry, we got issues. We defeated the mob... Foots. To Windfall. To do some side quests. In this episode, we're gonna go do some side quests. I want to do it right now, and also I want to head to the next main island we're gonna go to to progress the story. So there are two side side quests I want to do right now on this island. So let's get on with this. All right, so we're gonna talk to this guy right here, who is dancing in front of a grave. Oh no, that's not it. This is not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Exclamation mark. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully in the sort of my dance that I didn't even know his little old you standing there. I'm taught the mushroom. Okay, no. I love dancing more than a uh, world charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Wow, that's really fancy words. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. See, guy, no one that just met my live. Magic dance. You can turn day to night to night to day. Of course, I know. Alright, what you do is target him and put the Wind Waker in front of him. Now it's gonna do it for you. For some reason. Un, un, cha! Un, un, cha! That, that's it. That's the red I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it, guy. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Bow! <laughs> Jeez. I did not have a high voice. Alright, so we need to do. Left, down, right, left, down. And we learned a new song. It's the song of passing. Like I said, it turns day into night and night into day. Here it goes again. Woo! Yeah. Alright. Alright, now it doesn't work, but after that, we can actually use it. This is very helpful if you want to... Because some things you can do only at night, some things only in day. And the next side quest I want to do is during the day. So what I need to do is put on the Wind Waker, of course. Because it, it takes really long for you to go to night to day or day to night if you, if you want to wait normally. Anyways, um, the side quest I want to do right now has to involve these kids. Alright, so I need to go over to this little school right here and nice camera angle. Alright, what you need to do is talk to the creepiest teacher. Ever. <laughs> Look at the Miss Marie's school of joy. Seeing your face one I knew people. Of course I'm not. School's for idiots. Okay, no, not really. Went for all twenty years. Seems an happy teacher still knows about true joy. I have a joyless problem. The boy named Ivan talks to me, okay. Alright, fine. If I have to do everything for you, you stupid. Don't call me a deer. Good luck, young man. Alright, so I need to talk to these four dudes. Four cool kids. Alright, if we can run around in a circle. Yeah! Yee! Okay, Yo, boy, you got the problem with those killer bees, then, do you? You sound like a rapper. No, he says annoying hag of a teacher. Well. I wouldn't say hack, but uh, take on to cause Miss Marie ask you to, right? Right, bud. That was not Charlie, right, bud? You love the word bud, don't you? But you're spelling it wrong. Okay, sorry. You might have just beginning a four to kill a bees. Think we'll let's do a chum like you. I'm not fat. Think about it. If you want to challenge us to competition, then we'll think about it. listening a little bit. All right, so we need to challenge these four kids. Right somewhere, and easy as that. So you need to find all of them before, um, before the end of the day. All right, 
they're gonna run away. It's gonna like, yeah, you never find it. Sorry. All right, so to find the kids are not really that hard. This is actually really similar to the hiding, to the hide and seek in the um, Majora's Mask. All right, the first kids over here. And they give you a running start because you know they're little kids and we're a, a young man. Yeah, that's right, we're a young man. Um, all right, so the best way to catch them is keep rolling. Otherwise, you it's pretty hard to catch them. Ah, you got me. I don't know why I was giving him the Waluigi voice, but uh. anyway, this the next one is over here. This one is pretty hard to find. Well, at least the first time I play this game or try to 100% the game that's how I want to say it but I always want to try to get 100% the first time I play a game because that's a challenge and <gasps> I see you hey man this kid looks weird yeah oh Um, I'm also a little bit annoyed right now because it's like the third recording I'm trying to. It's like the third time I want to record this video. Like I seriously need a new game capture device, like so bad. Uh, where am I going? To go the other way. I need to avoid him. Okay, there we go. All right, roll into the tree and roll into the tree. And we're gonna get the leader himself. Ivan the not so terrible. Okay, sorry. Grand Battle 4 reference. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! That's not funny. <laughs> come on. Get over here. Get over here. Yar, he got me. That's how he's actually he will stay Yar. Like a Mario Party dance. Anyway, in the last one, the last kit is over here. They try to do like the um, the Naruto challenge, you know, talking, you know, running with the arms stretch out. It's like kind of funny. Or they want to wear like Sanic. You're awesome. Of course I'm awesome. I'm the best person in the world. Arg! Can't believe you found all four of us and you caught us all. Talk about that uh, feet. Looks like we lost a touch, killer bees. Cost no much all of it. And we get a piece of hearts. Alright, so we got two already. I collected two in the last episode, so then yeah. Hi the Seek Master. Alright. And I need to tell the, the teacher that we actually did it. Did the job for her. Of course I did it. I'm the best person in the world. And we get a purple rupee. That's 50 rupees. Our roll is almost full. But not too late long after we're gonna get the upgrades for for the uh, wallet. Anyway, uh, these joy pendants need to get... Uh, need to... Uh, no. Um... This button. Oh, excuse me, you have to go outside and tell them, okay. I forgot about that. It's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon. Boss, oh boss! Maybe you think you should give her some kind of present or something. Don't be stupid, we're killer bees, we know teachers, teachers, <laughs> teachers, tets, no, teachers, pets, there we go. Love Julia, Drew, and Junk more than anything else in the world. Kinda. Call joy pendants? Yeah, that's what they're called. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Alright, so we need to get her joy pendants. Like I said, get 21. Not 20, 21. Trust me. Or more. That's joy pendant. Oh my god. 
Uh, close up. Yes, 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 yes. We get a red rupee. Wow. Now I need to talk to her again and get more so that she has, so that she has 20 of them. Alright, so pre rejoice feels like. Alright, my lucky number. My lucky number is 8. You know, my YouTube channel and. Nah, whatever. And we get. The Cabana Deed. It's gonna be important for something later in the game that we're gonna uh, tackle down. Well, much later in the game, not. Mwah. Yeah, much later in the game. <laughs> and it's going to a Cabana, which I think we have seen if you watched the last episode. To that anybody, of course. Alright, so that's all the side quests I want to do for now. Now it's a good time to head out of here and go over to the next island, which is Great Fish Isle. Or, as you will, well, some people call it Great Fish Isle, some people call it Great, Great Fish Island. But the official pro pronunciation is um, Great Fish Isle. But oh, we're gonna get something along the way to Great Fish Isle. Alright, and it gets our right direction to right. Need to put it to the southwest. Uh, let me get my bait. Wait, hang on. Get to, uh, nope. There we go. Alright, let's sail. I'm gonna go do one more thing before we head to Great Fish Isle. And that's that island right there in the distance, that's in front of us. No, we're not going to do something on the planet, just in that square. And if you're talking about the sail upgrade, once again, I'm going to wait until I get the sail upgrade. Until I, until I have a bigger wallet. So yeah. People might disagree with that, but it's just my time to play because First time I played this, I didn't I didn't watch any of the trailers, so I did not know there was a still upgrade in this game. Yeah, I'm that. I wasn't that big of a fan back in the day, or well, good old days. But now I'm a huge fan of Legend of Zelda. Like it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite series. All right, well, along the way you can meet some enemies. These are some sharks. Uh, you need to jump over them to avoid them. Or just kill them with a boomerang. Or another weapon later on. Later on, left. And I see the math fish right over there. Uh, right here is Tingle Island. You can do something... Much later in the game. Like, near the end of the game. So don't worry about this island for now. But we will get it on the, of course, on the map. To remember where it is. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. He calls a small fry once again. But there's something as, as, as something we need to do as well in the square. Tingle Island. Yes. Yes, we know who Tingle is. Yes, we need deep wallets. Spoiling stuff. Oh my god. Anyway, I need to go over to the north of Tingle Island. So we need to go to the north. Like this way somewhere. Yeah, like this. Uh, get your boomerang ready. Wait, hang on. This one, I guess. Uh, we get right here somewhere. It's gonna be a flock of seagulls. Like, like right over here. If you come close to it, come on. It will trigger a mini boss fight. Face a giant octorok. Alright, all I need to do for this is hit all of his eyes twice with, with the boomerang. And you gotta do it before you circle around the enemy three times, otherwise you are dead. 
it's easy. It's easy, much easier than, much harder than it looks. Actually, easier than it looks. But I cannot talk. Uh, the difference between this and the original is that um, the eyes are now turning blue instead of black. Because in the GameCube version, you know, the eyes just turn black. I don't know why they changed that, but uh, maybe because the Wii U blue and all stuff. Uh, I like the like the animation when you get there. It's like, oh my god, that hurts. Alright, one more. Or two more, excuse me. And there we go. Uh, throughout the game, you're gonna fight some more of these, um, or more of these Octoroks. So this won't be the last time we fight one of these. I will cut out some of these Octorok battles because they're pretty much the same. But less or more eyes. Alright, let's get close to that little thing right there. Dig it up. And I said dig it up. Yep. Yep. You know what? Die. Over here, no, on the way. Excuse me, I. Where is this? Okay, it's right up there. D Come on, this is getting ridiculous. There we go, jeez. Treasure chest. And this side is. A piece of heart. Yes, three of them so far. One more to get another heart container. It's going fast. Alright, so we go back to our original destination. Alright, that's all the things I want to do along in this, uh, during our sailing. So now we're going to go to Great Treasure Isle. Uh, it's always going to be night time when you go to Great Fish Isle during this part of the game. Uh, watch out for these updrops. They really aren't that dangerous. They just throw you in the air and in a different direction. Uh, these things in the ground, you can get treasure for that. Most of the time it's 50 rupees. Um, I'm going to say right now, you want to ignore these right now. Trust me on that. It will save your life much, much later. We have a bigger wallet, and uh, you know, or not have a bigger wallet if you try not to go for 100%. Even though that makes your life a lot easier. And it's gonna be and dark clouds above it, just like in uh, Dragon Roost. Come on, cutscene. There we go. Hey. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Dot, dot, dot. Great Fish Isle. Where is the meaning of this? This island is. We are too late. We had pressed a little time, but I never suspected how little. A great war spirit named Jaboon once lived here. No sign of him remains. Oh, there, Link! Here we meet the. probably. the real superhero of this game. The postman. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you here by chance taking the great spirit, spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But 
Fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a saber boat now. Would like to guess where that boat is? Maybe? On the island you were born, and outside. <gasps> Mind blown! Yet even if you go to Isla now, you won't be able to see Jaboon. Cave very high is sealed with a ma mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Link. I thought that anyone would know of your whereabouts will be the pirates. I told them to stay without so much as I thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for outside and tried to break into the cave. It's lucky that they could not gain entrance. I've heard they were last spotted on Windfall Island. But, do but doing what? I do not know. Grace to see Jaboon, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. When eerie island is, everyone else roasts. Clear skies and calm seas of this place caught on the dark clouds and rain. Blue must have been right when he asked me to bring the word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. But count counsel against staying here longer than, than you have here. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Mission accomplished. Good work. Call to you reference right there. Alright, I think it's on to him. So Jaboon has survived. As you see the most talked to many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. We are able to believe the words of the real tribe, the real postman, and the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't you go to Windfall Island and search for them there? Alright, that's something we're gonna do in the next episode. Alright, so next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we're gonna go back to the Windfall to Windfall Island to find the pirates. See you guys next time.